Hey, do me a favor. Click the subscribe button. You'll be glad you did. Thank you. Hi, and thank you for watching Cooking with Victoria. Today, we are going to make a garlic and herb green bean, but we're gonna do it in a skillet. All right, on the stove. So first off, I purchased my green beans from Kroger's, as you can see, it's the Kroger brand. And what we're gonna do, these already come uh, cut and ready to go. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm gonna open them up and I'm going to pour however much I'm going to use, um, and you do the same, uh, into a bowl and I'm going to rinse them and drain the water, of course. It's just a light rinse. And then after that, we'll move on to our next step, okay? And this is the 32 ounce bag, which is two pounds, okay? Let's get to rinsing. And that's some cold water. All right, our green beans have been rinsed and they're in their bowl and they're draining uh, so that we could get all the excess water off of them, okay? Next, we put our skillet on the stove and this is the T-File skillet, just in case anybody is wondering. And uh, it's a non-stick. So we're gonna put our skillet on the stove. You're gonna put it on a medium low heat and we're gonna add some oil into our skillet, okay? About two and a half tablespoons is what you wanna add. You're gonna let that oil warm up and while it's doing that, you want to take some fresh thyme, okay? I'm using about four twigs. I always rinse mine off. It's just a force of habit. And we're going to add that into our oil, just like that, okay? Just like that. And the reason mine sizzled like that was because I had a little water on it. But if yours is completely dry, it won't sizzle like that. And we're going to let that uh, just infuse with the oil. type of butter I use is, and we're going to just use, add one tablespoon of butter, okay? Add it right in just like that. And I'm going to show you the kind of butter I use. This is country, car, country crop plant-based uh, butter with olive oil. It's very good, guys. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. And it's dairy-free. That's what I love about it. Okay. If you're somebody that doesn't like a lot of dairy, this butter is amazing. And it tastes so delicious. You're going to let it keep doing what it do. And you just lightly take your pan. And you can just lightly shake it just like that. Okay. And just kind of get it to spread around a little bit. Later on, you're going to need some Italian seasoning, so have that on standby, your Italian seasoning. And you will also need garlic, have that on standby. Alright, now that our butter and oil has mixed together, as you can see it's, they're both melted and mixed very well. We're gonna go ahead and grab our green beans. And we're gonna add our green beans. And you can leave your thyme in your skillet. That's not gonna hurt a thing. Leave it in there. And you're just gonna add your green beans. Okay. It's gonna pop a little bit because they may still have a little water on them. That's okay. It's not gonna burn you. It's a little sickle. Okay. 
All right. And then what we're going to do next, we're going to add our Italian seasoning. Okay. And these are fresh green beans, as you can see. Okay. Add some Italian seasoning. You know, just enough to cover. You don't have to overdo it. Just like that. And then you have a choice. You can add, um, at this point, you can add uh, sea salt, you can add pink Himalayan salt, or you can do garlic salt. Now, I'm going to personally add the garlic salt. And so I'm going to add Morton's garlic sea salt. Okay. And just very lightly. You don't need to add a lot. Okay, just enough for flavor. And take your tongue. Okay. And we're just gonna kind of toss them so they all get coated in there butter with thyme. Okay, so if you want that flavor on your green beans. Okay. Just like that. Okay. That looks so good. Okay, now what we're going to do next is take your lid, you're going to take your lid, and you're going to cover your green beans, and you're going to let them go on medium-low heat for five minutes, okay? So, we're going to set our timer for five minutes. We're going to cover our green beans, and we're going to let them go, okay? And um, we'll check on them in five minutes, okay? So see you in five. And while you're doing, while you, you know, while those are cooking, go ahead and get two garlic cloves, two pieces of garlic, pull your two cloves off your garlic, and go ahead and get those uh, mixed and have those set aside and ready, okay? All right, guys, our timer is going off, so we're going to take our lid off and check on our green beans. They are looking delicious. And let me stop the timer. All right. They are looking delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them off and I'm going to check to see how tender they are, if they're tender enough. Um, and then after that, we'll continue on. And they are. They're tender. Okay. So the last step is very, very, very simple. We are going to turn our heat down to low, as low as you can get it. All right, so we put our skillet on low temperature and we're gonna add in our two cloves of garlic, okay? Two cloves of garlic will come out to about two tablespoons, okay? Two to one tablespoons. So it's whichever one you desire, okay? And from here, after you add them, you're just gonna take your garlic with your tongues and you're just gonna mix it around with your green beans, okay? Just like so, okay? All right, 
And just a quick note, real, real quick. If you're someone who doesn't want to see any brown on your green beans like this, instead of having your heat on a medium low, a medium, well, we had it on me. Instead of having your heat on that uh, medium a low temperature, you can just put them on low. But if you do that, you're going to have to cook them um, a little bit longer. Okay, so instead of the five minutes, uh, you'll have to cook them about eight minutes. And what I would do is um, halfway between at four minutes, you would want to uh, take your lid off, stir them, check for tenderness, cover it back, and let it go the additional four minutes. Okay, now that's what I would do. So uh, after back to uh, what we're doing here, you would um, put your garlic in, stir it around just like we just did. Okay, and then you're gonna replace that lid. All right, leave it on low heat and you're gonna let this go for another three minutes. All right, so I'll see you in three minutes. All right, that is our time. We are going to cut the timer off and the lid comes off of the green beans. All right, and look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, and all we did was let the garlic flavor get into the oil with our green beans. Now we're gonna plate them up. All right, so let's plate them up. All right, so here are our green beans. Don't they look delicious and healthy? I'm gonna give you guys the 360 view that you love don't they look so delicious oh they just look so amazing look at that so healthy and they're not super super soft they still have a little crunch to them in the flavor I can tell you the flavor is just so amazing. All right, so what we're gonna do now, let you guys have that look. And the ones that have that nice golden brown flavor, oh, that golden brown, oh, let me tell you, the flavor is just going to be amazing on those. All right, so let's say a prayer and then we'll taste our green beans. All right, Father God, thank you right now for the green beans that we have in front of us. We ask that you would bless them to nourish our body. Bless those that are watching over YouTube and bless them as they cook this recipe, Lord, for their families. All these things we ask in your name, amen. All right, so we're gonna take a fork and we're just gonna get one. Pick one, anyone. And you see that? I want you to see supple those are. See how supple those are? They are. See that? Green bean coming out. The bean coming out. Okay. And they're just delicious. So the first bite is for you, of course. As always, I don't want to be rude to my guests. I know they're delicious. Let me get in on it now. Mm. Right away, you can taste the garlic and the thyme. And you can taste the Italian seasoning. It's perfect. It doesn't need any additional seasoning. Just like it is. If you like the freshness of the green bean, you know, and you want to taste the vegetable with the herbs, this is perfect. This will go with any meal that you make. And it's also good just as a meal by itself. If you're looking for something healthy. Especially if you're a vegetarian. Try this. It'll really make you feel good inside. Mm. And the ones that have that brown. Mmm. 
Yum, 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 yum. So I thank you for watching. I love you for watching. Be blessed. And stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks for watching Cooking with Victoria. Tell all your friends. I know you're going to love it. Peace.